Johnson & Johnson this morning vows to appeal a multi-million dollar legal ruling over its signature products. A jury awarded $55 million to an ovarian cancer survivor. Survivor, She says decades of talcum powder use made her sick. Vanita Nair is here with the second talcum trial defeat this year for the company. Vanita, good morning. Good morning. Johnson & Johnson insists the product is safe. But more than 1,000 plaintiffs have accused the company of failing to warn that talc was linked to an increased risk for ovarian cancer. And yesterday, a jury in St. Louis agreed. It is a huge public health concern. Ted Meadows represents Gloria Ristison, who won the multi-million dollar judgment Monday. The $50 million award uh, in punitives was intended to punish uh, Johnson & Johnson for their conduct. Rista's son is 62 and says she used Johnson's baby powder for decades. She was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2011. Talc was found in her ovarian tissue after a hysterectomy. Her lawsuit claims the talcum powder in Johnson's baby powder and shower to shower is carcinogenic and that the company has known about it, quote, based upon scientific knowledge dating back to the 1960s. As long as I can remember, Johnson's baby powder has been making me feel soft, fresh, and loved. The company began selling baby powder more than a hundred years ago. From the start of your life, it's been a part of your life. What we're hoping is that Johnson & Johnson will finally do what they should have done decades ago and put a warning on the product. But Johnson & Johnson said scientific and regulatory reviews have determined that talc is safe for use in cosmetic products and the labeling on Johnson's baby powder is appropriate. In February, a $72 million judgment was awarded to the family of the late Jacqueline Fox, who was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2013 after using Johnson's talc products for decades. The company's chief medical officer denies any link. We are confident in our position that there's no causal association between talc and ovarian cancer. There have been uh, about 20 epidemiologic studies suggesting an association. Dr. Daniel Kramer of Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston was an expert for the plaintiff in both lawsuits. Back in 1982, he suggested the company needed a talc warning. My advice has always been not to use talc on a regular basis in the genital area. And I haven't changed that opinion for 30 years. Johnson & Johnson said the lawsuits amounted to women and families affected by ovarian cancer searching for answers. Johnson & Johnson has already filed an appeal in Jacqueline Fox's case. Attorney Ted Meadows told CBS this morning, as a result, the company has not paid a dime of that $72 million dollars to the late woman's family. But keep in mind, there are a lot of pending lawsuits, thousands, mm -hmm. so we could be hearing a lot more about this case. Yeah, this will mm -hmm. take some time. Thank you very much, Vanita.